Hey guys, welcome to Mind Mesh Movie Talks. <laughs> that was I'm weird. doing How the did intro you, you today. You planned that so, like, you timed that so well, it didn't even cut you off. Like, you're just a frame off, or like a frame after I started. How do you. <laughs> that is impressive, in all honesty. But welcome to uh, Mind Mesh's. And you movie stole talks. it from me. Yeah. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Look, all, uh, what, I, what I was going to say was um, happy day after Thanksgiving. And or Sunday after Thanksgiving, if you're watching on YouTube, welcome to Mind Mesh's Movie Talks. Uh, Fisher went to the movie store with me. He went to Wally World with me yep. and he led me down the correct path. And we are finally watching Detective Pikachu. No jokes. No jokes. No, no goofs. We found Detective Pikachu. I didn't even realize it was about it was about Pokemon. I didn't even I didn't I guess something in my mind just didn't click. Um but the movie's about a little uh, yellow detective mouse, electric mouse. Who I who would have thought? But you know, this will be interesting because we just took a film noir class uh, a semester ago. Oh yeah. Well, isn't this also the second movie on our entire movie talks list that we've both seen? Have you seen this? Yeah. Okay. Cool. So yeah, two in, in a row. row. Yeah, two in a row that uh, we've actually uh, we have already seen. But anyways, to sync up this movie commentary track with Pokemon Detective Pikachu, uh, basically you're going to press pause on this commentary track when I say the pause and press play as soon as the Warner Brothers badge, that big old yellow diamond esque thing with WB Warner Brothers yada yada. As soon as that fades to black, you're going to press play on this movie commentary track. But for now. Press pause. Oh, huh, you know, I honestly, the, the legendary logo, I, I remember it fondly, but I also never remember it. If that makes any sense. Like every time legendary pops up for whatever reason, I'm, I'm expecting Lionsgate, but that makes no sense either because Lionsgate's like animation is the giant, oh, the Pokemon company, but that's the, our first real life Pokeball. That's our first real life Pokeball. You know, was obviously CG. Um, but what I was going to say is, this is that text racist. What? I was wondering if this text is like, no, because it fits within how text is portrayed in the Pokemon games. They just actually made it into letters. Okay. Yeah. Cause like in the actual, like, uh, Pokemon games, the, the font is very, uh, Japanese esque, but it does not exactly Japanese. Yeah. Or but is it has, it? it's no, it, it's just complete gibberish. It means nothing. Okay. So, so they just made a font based around that, uh, and just made it, you know, actual letters, which I'm sure in like Japan, it was like all those titles were actually like, you know, in just normal, like, well, that's a weird thing about, I've never actually thought about that with like Japanese, uh, kanji. writing. Yeah. With kanji, it's like, it's so precise how you have to do stuff. Mm -hmm. So like, do they have fonts? that's not just like affecting the boldness and like thickness of it all like did they actually have fonts that like add serifs and stuff is that like a thing i think so i don't know that's a interesting interesting uh little quandary to to add to the mix because of course you have stuff like sumi ink yeah. like text and then like block text so yeah that's very true it's very true also uh i was gonna ask yeah um, what's up? this is in the sino region right no no not technically. This is in its own like region. Cause like there's there's posters for like the Sinnoh championships and stuff like that. Yeah. But like from what I understand, Rhyme City is its own unique thing and it's from the Detective Pikachu games. And I, I've I've not done enough research into Detective Pikachu to know what region Rhyme City's in. Okay. I didn't know. Yeah, no, I have uh, absolutely no clue. But I, I will say this. The one, my favorite thing about this movie is the fact that they partnered up with the guy who back in the day did all the realism Pokemon drawings. Like, you know that guy, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, they, they partnered the, up with him? Yeah, they partnered up with him and he he helped them develop all the Pokemon. Of course, not going super realistic like he does where he actually takes the body parts of other animals and combines them together. But like for everything when it comes to like the joint structure and how the, the actual like feathers of these Pidgeys and Pidgeots flow or... How uh, what Look kind of the, the diesel electric bug boys would have yada yada yada. It's also weird to think that the guy from Jurassic World's the main uh, star of this of this one. You know, he's just been doing a lot of creature features here recently. 
Which Jurassic World? The second this one? The second one. I haven't that. seen that no, one. You haven't seen that one? Also, uh, my favorite Pokemon of all time. Hey, look, the Pender. See, this is why I got confused at Walmart. Okay? It has the same cast. Same cast. What am I supposed to do? Wait, is that Dopender? Yeah. Holy shit. As I said, my statement stands. You understand how I could get confused now. Has the same cast. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, yes, Cubone's one of my favorite Pokemon. But right below Wish Cash. It's Wish Cash, Cubone. That's my two top. Top two. I mean, <clears throat> as a child and then... Until now, I've always loved Mewtwo, but I'm not. If I'm not gonna say a legendary Pokemon, it's it's Dragonite or Gengar. I like Gengar. Gengar Gengar is definitely definitely up there for me. I love uh, I love Scraggy slash Scrafty. Just something about him. Something about him really speaks to me. I just love, I just love big Pokemon. Like I love yeah. like Metagross. No, I get that. God, I want a real Pokeball. Like people make them. I see them. I just can't get myself yeah. to spend the twenty yeah, bucks I, on it. A twenty bucks? Well, I'm talking about the ones like that one where if you actually press the button, it lights up. That's what I. That's what I'm talking Where's about. Tw- where are you find these buttons? Etsy. Twenty bucks. What? Are they actual they're metal? Re- yeah. Or are they like three D printed? I think they're metal. There's no way. The metal that they would have to use for a pokeball is more than thirty dollars to begin with. Bro, this. This Cubone is not the cute and cuddly Cubone I know. Like, he's, like, super dark and undersaturated. He's got, like, fully black eyes. He's possessed by a demon. Yeah, like a man. Just like when you were a kid and you accidentally throw the Wiimote at your TV. This is how everyone felt playing Pokemon Go. (laughs) I wish this is how I felt playing Pokemon Go. What if they actually did that? What if instead of the flicking motion of Pokemon Go, you literally had to use the gyroscope? And had to throw it. Yeah, I would like, like that. Like, like, let's go. I, I would. I, I would like you, that. Yeah, but until, you uh, you, well, the problem with that is then you couldn't see the Pokemon. You couldn't actually see what you're throwing at. Uh oh. That's true. You, dude, you didn't follow the rules of Pokemon. You did not battle it to make it weaker to catch it. You just threw a Pokeball at it. it oh my God! Bone Rush is a hell of a drug. You should have at least used a great ball to capture a, a full health Cubone. That's all I'm saying. Especially if you're not going to do anything to it. Yeah. Everyone's leaving to be a Pokemon trainer. To be the very best that no one ever was. Even though most people are actually pretty close to being a Pokemon master. Wait, what's the definition of a Pokemon Master? Is it just someone that's captured every single Pokemon? Or I think is a Pokemon it... Master is someone that beats the league. Oh, yeah, then so there's so many people that are Pokemon Masters. Wishmore. Who know that when I, I mispronounced that. Wismer? What? I thought it was a Pokemon pun. And I thought oh. it said Wish Wait, Cash. why does his phone look like a Let's Go Pikachu like Switch? Why does it got the... Those color? That's a DS. That's, that's a, a 3DS. That's literally a 3DS. It's his Pokey nav. Well, I was about to say, I was about to say, it's probably like a Pokedex esque like device, and that's why it's got those weird like bulbous colors and stuff like that. They were just trying to make a modern. Uh, it's a Poke nav. Yeah, but well, a Poke nav was like. I was trying to remember what a Poke nav fucking looks like. It's like a it's weird a well, little it's updated one. Yeah, it's like a little green, like trapezoid esque looking device that I don't know. It was like it was like cell phone. It was like a flip phone almost. Oh, hell yeah. Like, look at that skin texture. Like, look. Yeah. Okay, do you think... So there was obviously someone practically on set that had a very gooey uh, towel on a stick and just pushed it up against his yep. face. That's literally what happened in that shot. Which, I mean, that's how you make CGI characters uh, match reality. So, I mean, you know what? You'll do whatever. God... Having a real life Pokemon movie, I can't tell you how excited. And I like, really wish this movie would have came out when I was in like elementary no, school. Exactly, I would have shit my exactly. fucking pants. I would have. I would have literally. I would have been. Oh, hey, Red, what's up? But it, it just it would have been so weird, so weird. I would have been so excited to see it as a kid. Who's that Pokemon? It's uh, that Ditto. guy. <laughs> well, no, that's not true. 
Not yet. Not Howard Clifford. Uh, wait, now that's just... There's your uh, favorite there's Pokemon. My, there, yeah, there's my third favorite Pokemon, Totodile. My third favorite's probably Bulbasaur. I man, see, this is why this is why we can't be true friends. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but if this movie came out of my childhood, like I I'm I am so envious, so envious of the kids that got to see this movie as a kid. Yeah, as a kid, because like now this is actually becoming a full fledged like series. Like because this movie did so good, they're making more live action Pokemon. Are they really? I believe so. I'm I, I'm pretty sure I read that. But you know what? You can't believe everything on the internet, which is why uh, I was going to make a really dark joke, but I uh, I lost it halfway through the joke. Good. Uh, Pancham, Squirtle, Dodruo, Sneasel. Uh, I want a Golurk. You want a what? Golurk. Which, uh, you got to describe it to me. It was that big Pokemon in the background with like the... Uh, oh, is that like the Golem one? Yeah. Okay. God. Man, if only... If only we lived in the world like this, where we had Machamps directing traffic. Wow, that that Machamp CGI was a- yeah. This, uh-huh. Why is that Machamp the the only thing in this in that shot that looked bad? Like, how does this look so good? And that Machamp literally looked like it didn't fit. I guess it was because the fur, I think, versus the skin. Uh, maybe I don't know. The Lickitung looked fine. That's true. Trico. Oh. There's a little Growlithe in soft, the corner. Yeah, soft spot in my heart for a good boy Trico. Oh yeah, Trico is one of my favorite starters. That's not how Squirtle sounds. Squirtle sounds like he's got like something right stuck up. in it. Yeah, he sounds like he's got something stuck up his nose. He's been smoking menthols. Yeah, he's been smoking menthols for the whole time before he evolves. God, look at all the... Look at that. Man! This is a wild, wacky world. It's also weird to think that how did it take so long for this kind of movie to happen? I think it was just technology. I see. I don't think it was technology because like these kinds of effects could have been pulled off way earlier. Would they would have looked worse? Yes. But it's also like I think it's just the stigma of video game movies. That's fair. But it, it's still like it's weird to think that this is the first video game movie that was seen as good. Yeah, I mean, this is definitely not a perfect movie yeah, at all. No, it's not a perfect movie in any sense of the word, but compared to, you know, like, let's watch the live-action Super Mario Bros. movie. Let's just oh, go yeah. back. Have you ever actually seen it? No. It's a treat and a half. Let me tell you, it is a treat and a half to watch. The Silent Hill movies aren't terrible. The first the one. The first isn't. one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I was about to say it. number yeah. two is pretty bad. Yeah, no. And then, of course, you had the Resident Evil games that had nothing Absolutely nothing to do with the Resident Evil game mm-hmm. or the movie. Wait, the movies had nothing to do with the games. Yeah. But they said they had stuff to do with the game. It's a weird, it's a weird slippery slope. They're about to reboot Resident Evil, actually. The or maybe they just dropped it. James Wan was attached to it. I think he dropped it because of, uh, you know, the whole director versus studio type nonsense that happens constantly. It happens. It happens. Bro. Would I, I, I don't know. I, I have such conflicting feelings about this movie because I just want every single Pokemon. Like they do, they do in general, besides that one Machamp, look really good. And honestly, they look believable. That's true. But I also feel like that's because we grew up with the game. So we know these character designs and this is exactly what we imagine in our head, what they would look like. There are some bit, you know, off the beaten paths, like the way Jigglypuff looks in this movie. It's kind of weird. I never imagined Jigglypuff having fur. I'll say that much. Yeah. <laughs> Which we'll see later on. I might, uh, I might baby burp when I see it. Might get a little vomit in my mouth when I see it, but it's okay. Cause seeing that snubble, it's all that matters. I do wish that they were more, like, uh, noir techniques used in this. Well, <sighs> just, like, at least, like, stylistically. Like, having more, like, contrasting lighting and whatnot. Well, I think that comes back to, like, the reason you, you're feeling that way is because the main title is Detective. Well, they also just... They also, like, reference him watching, like, an old noir movie in here, too. I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I feel like this movie probably wouldn't have worked with a super dark, contrasty, like noir-esque style. I, I think mean, they're kind would've. of they're, they're kind of hitting it here in a sense. A little bit, but like I feel like the darks aren't dark enough. 
like well, the I, shadows. That, see, I feel like the the problem. But it's would've... also like harder for the CGI. You yeah, know, I was about to say that that's that's where the problem lies. Is that way you, you wouldn't be able to like the CGI wouldn't be able to match. Look at that little fucking Look at the fucking tree. I've also always wanted a gecko. That's so, I just want that. Yeah. Want... So just seeing that, I'm just like, yeah, I would, I would, I would be perfectly fine with taking care of a dog sized g- gecko. That's it. That's all. I, that's all I need. That's all I want. Maybe one day, you know, we're bringing back the mammoths. So maybe, <laughs> maybe. Do you think one... Psyduck had fair? Yeah. Like a duck? Yeah. Cause like, uh, well, I just imagine him being like a rubber ducky, like smooth. See, I, I have always like when, when, when Pokemon have design elements of actual animals, like Psyduck's obviously a duck. I have yeah. always imagined it to have fur. Did you always think Pikachu had fur? Yeah. I never, I never thought about that until I saw those like quote unquote real life. Yeah, no. Well, I think the the, the problem stands with like graphically, like with Pokemon, they just always black. appeared smooth, except for the ones that were over, like like mammoth swine and and stuff or like, like that. slacking or something. Yeah, like that. the ones that like they drew the fur with. Mm-hmm. Like for all the other ones, like with Psyduck or Pikachu, they've always shown them to be smooth. Yeah, or like I Snorlax. Yeah. Because, I mean, when you think about it, when you think about a duck, you don't think about the feathers of said duck because the feathers are so flat on its body that it appears smooth. Yeah. So that, that was always my like thing. It's like I, I understand why it's not a thing, but in my mind, it's reasonable. Like I've never I've never thought of them as not having fur or anything like that because it's never been on my mind before. But now I just wish that all the newer Pokemon games actually like put texture onto the Pokemon because we both know it's just going to be the 3DS models just scaled up. They are. No. Well, yeah. His, his, There's a lot that we can talk he, about when it comes to like Sword and Shield and that whole animation. Well, debacle. you know, they like they redid all of them for for uh, Sun and uh, was it Sun and Moon? They they redid all the um, Pokemon that they hadn't made in that gen. Yeah, they remade everything, and they literally stated because once they switched over to a console for the first time, they wanted to make sure they had all the assets. Yeah, and then you they know, have all the assets, and now rest in peace. I swear it's going to be a DLC thing. At this point, technically, Sword and Shield's out. Oh yeah, weird the thing. So we'll be playing it for about two weeks before this movie comes out. <laughs> it's interesting. Yeah, very. Uh. So, okay. I've never played Detective Pikachu. I haven't either. Like, I I mean, I am. I like to think that I am a connoisseur of off-brand Pokemon games or spin-off Pokemon games. Like Ranger and Mystery Dungeon. Yeah. Or oh, what was the other one? It was like Pokemon Tropsil or whatever. That was a weird like Tetris-esque clone. And there was a Pokemon Run. That was weird like racing sim. I don't know. There's a lot of... Uh, there's a lot of... You're letting the Pokemon stank game. out. Bro, you're letting that purple stank get out, dude. Now all these APOMs are going to have rabies. For real though. They having rabies now. What if you just like hulked out? <laughs> yeah, no, I was about to say like it's... I... I I find it weird that it only affects Pokemon. Yeah. But it also makes sense because I mean that that's just how medicine works. Like dog medicine does not work on humans and like vice you, versa. You, 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 you can you give a dog like Benadryl if it's having like allergies, but like you can't give a human you, dog heart medicine to yeah, help no, their heart. Yeah, no, that uh, no no no. That's not how it works. But um Dude, I kind of want to scan that QR code. I'm not gonna lie, I feel if like if we weren't to, recording, I'd yeah, say pause it and do yeah, it. It has to lead to something. Has to lead to something. Happy twenty first birthday! Even though I think you're twenty something more. I don't know. It's weird because that opening scene where they're like walking through their hometown, they they felt like high schoolers. Yeah. But he was talking about how everyone was leaving their town, though. Well, yeah, no, it's it was just, just the way he, that Dopender was dressed. Yeah, it's the way he was dressed, and it, it, I don't know, he just seems super young. I just want that Rayquaza thing hanging up there. Oh, like his little, like, the weird cutout type yeah. deal? Yeah, Sinnoh Championships. See, that's what made me think that they were in the Sinnoh region. 
No, I mean, yeah, maybe, I don't know. I'm, now I'm going to look that up. I'm going to see what region is Rhyme City. Rhyme City. Rhyme, Rhyme City. Hey. Because if it was, I was going to ask if that lab in the beginning, if you could access it in the game. Oh, uh, look, it's the first, Rhyme City. And, and it's regularly for, not, indicate that it's not, Rhyme City is not located in a tropical region. Cubone did not appear in Hoenn, Unova, or Sinnoh, leaving us with Kanto, Johto, and Kalos. Oh, so they're saying this is in the Kalos region. Oh! There are Kalos Pokemon here. Yeah, I know. But now people are saying Rhyme City is located in Galar. The new one from Sword and Shield. Which, at this point, we would technically know if true or not, but, uh... No new Pokemon so far. Yeah, no, no, new, no new boys. Yeah. Bro, if I were trying to defend my home, the first thing I would grab is my trusty stapler. Yep. Think how fast those staples fly. That could hurt someone. That could really get someone. Hell yeah. What's up, Deadpool? Oh, wait. It does affect him. Because now he can understand Pokemon. That's the reason he can understand Pokemon is the... Is it? That's what I'm going to say. That's the assumption I made the first time I watched this movie. So I would, yes, I would assume that the the purple, the dank purple smoke. But why can't other people talk to Pokemon? Because they haven't had, they haven't been smoking that purple skin, stunk. I'm talking, I'm, I'll bring this up later on in the movie. Why? Just because uh, I'm, it's, I'm, I was going to reference a scene that happened and I'll just, re- I'll just bring this point back when, oh, okay. Back up when that scene happens. Bro, Apom was always a weird Pokemon to me. I agree. I liked him. Oh no. I had him I on did. my team at some point. But uh <laughs> I think I think it's just the hand on the tail. Whoa, he was trying to grab his crotch. I saw that. That Apom was trying to get frisky. This He's is still a family to get frisky. friendly movie. Bro, I don't believe it anymore. Okay. Bro, all these Apoms are horny as hell. You see the hand on the end of their tail? God damn that it. ain't just for movement. Oh my god. Oh, that's Imagine how many fucking Roll for 34. No. Uh, wait, what? Where are we going with that? I'm just thinking like imagine this in real life. This I'm happening? Ju- well, that's like, what I wish. Like I, the equivalent. So like just like randomly you're in your apartment and, a bunch and you of let like you this mystique. Yeah, yeah, just, yeah, just fucking and like start attacking. Yeah, trying to grab your crotch. Yeah, no, I, I yeah, I would freak out. I'd probably be freaking out more than him. I'd and be then like a rat's me. trying to talk to you. Yeah, a rat's Re- Remy the rat's yeah. trying to talk to you. Bro, that's what I need. I need a fucking uh I need a cooking show of Pokemon. Oh, that's a, this is a topic that we brought up before, but like, what the hell do they eat meat wise? Like, are they eating Pokemon? See, I was wondering that because in Sword and Shield, you can yeah, make you meals, can make, like meat curries and stuff like that. So it's like, are they? Are, are you they... Go, Can you go and fucking slaughter a Tauros for yeah. its steak? <laughs> yeah, no, exactly. That's literally what I was thinking. Literally, what I was. Or thinking. like, do you go and make Magic Carp sushi? Wish cash sushi. You know? Interesting. Interesting topic. Because, like, yeah. No, and would tour chick just be, like, spicy chicken? Oh, God. Oh, that's nasty. But uh, what I was going to say was... Um, uh, <laughs> look at that little... Jo- oh, oh, my I'm God. Trying to now find they look it. like gremlins. What's up? What There's a little at? joltic on some dude's shoulder. Oh, really? Um. Oh, what was I going to say? Oh God, what were we talking about? Cooking? Oh yeah, in all the previous Pokemon games, all the cooking was done with just berries. Yeah. That, and that's it. But then no Sword, meats. Sword and Shield, they were like, yeah, you can make a meat curry. What's it made out of? Uh, Pikachu tail. Welcome to hell. That's going to be like the storyline in uh, Sword and Shield. Yeah, it's about the... Uh, about like... How it's become okay to eat. No, it's just like inhumane like conditions and uh yeah, in like Pokemon inhu- farms. Yeah. Rest in peace. 
Why did you see her stick a finger in it? Dude, it's family friendly. How do you know my dad's name? You should have said Martha. That's what I was about to say. <laughs> I just love that that hat is uh, way too small for a human. Yeah. But we know, uh, no, I'm not going to, I'm not going to spoil stuff. There's no need to spoil it. Look at that Greninja. I mean, it's not spoiling Dude, anything. That's, they that's, say. A, that's a, that's I know there's another, there's another one out down there. Yeah. It's foreshadowing. What happens later? Let's go to the disco or the hi hat cafe. Dude, the production design of this movie is straight up God tier. Oh yeah, like they really took took the whole Pokemon thing and they said let's go. Oh yeah, there it is. Okay, there's the vomit in my mouth. I think it's just a weird fact that like the hair, the the weird swirl on its head. Yeah, the only way that's physically possible for it to grow like that is a if Jigglypuffs gives each other haircuts or that's a tail. Mm. I like to think it's a tail. Like, it's just like a little unicorn, a floppy unicorn horn that comes out of Jigglypuff's forehead and just, like, wraps around itself. Flaccid like, unicorn yeah. horn. <laughs> yeah, it's a flaccid unicorn horn that, like, curls up like a pug tail at the end. Ludicolo. <laughs> My favorite drug-crazed Pokemon. My favorite. But, uh... Berry juice. Berry juice. The jellies. But yeah, no, like that's the only way that Jigglypuff hair works that way. I'm sorry to say, but now they made it canon. Jigglypuff has a flaccid unicorn horn. That's it. Oh my God. He thought that was absurd. Yeah, I know, right? (laughs) I didn't even realize how good they got the reflections on this countertop for Pikachu. Oh, wow. That's right. You show him Pika P. I will say the oddest part about Pikachu is the red cheeks. Really? I think it's uh, the eyes. See, no, I think everything makes sense except for the cheeks because the cheeks are supposed to be like pouches for electricity. And I think that's the only part that I think shouldn't have fur or have a different texture. Oh, I feel that. I can totally see that. Because it's just like, why Why in those specific two points on a Pikachu are there these perfectly circular red patches? Like, I could understand if they were like a slightly, like if they, because I mean, everyone has like burst spots and stuff like that. And of course on the, on Pikachu's I back I mean, some animals tail, just have like certain patterns that reoccur. But technically every Pikachu has these perfect round circles. The only difference is a heart tail if it's a female. Or if it's a shiny. Well, if it's a shiny, it's still red cheeks. It's just they're like a more orange. It's weird. Type they deal. Not, he's not real. He doesn't have a good shiny. He doesn't. A Pikachu shiny just gets golden. My favorite shiny is Bulbasaur. I don't have a favorite shiny because I don't typically prefer shinies. I have a favorite shiny because, um, you know, in the old Pokemon games, when you look through the menus and you look at Bulbasaur, Bulbasaur was like green. Yeah. That's all it is. It's just green Bulbasaur. Oh, well, uh, what, what I was going to say is uh, I guess my favorite shiny would be the first shiny that I've ever caught, which was a Geodude and Lily shiny Geodude is a golden Geodude. Like my he, favorite or my first one was a fucking Zubat. Oh, really? It was a green Zubat. It was actually a Gen 4. It was in Sinnoh that I caught. And the mine Geo, was yeah. too in Platinum. Yeah, I was in Diamond and I was just walking through and a uh, Geodude spawned where a Geodude should not have spawned and it was it was uh, shiny. It's absolutely wild. But then I got an action replay and then all my Pokemon were shiny. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I think you're sexually attracted to Pikachus. And That's we what he's talk saying. About that. He was talking about putting a finger in him earlier. So, I mean, <laughs> we all know where this is going. 
Happened with Ash. What happened with him? Oh my God! Happened? With, no, it happened with Ash's mom. That's what happened. Oh no, never mind. She was too busy uh, uh, shoveling down a uh, Professor Oak. That's what's happening in the original Pokemon anime. It was always weird when like he would call Professor Oak and his mom was just there behind him. <laughs> <laughs> no, only me. No, no, <laughs> not just you. And then in like the Sun and Moon anime, like they they go on vacation and then like they meet the Alolan version of Professor Oak that's like super tan. It literally just looks just like him. Yeah, it's just him but tan. Long hair. And I, is it was that is that actually Professor Oak or was that like a cousin? I don't remember. I think it's like a cousin of his. Is it? Some sort of relative to him. Oh, look at all those little fucking uh, uh, Joltix. Is that what their name is? Is that fifth gen? The little spiders? Yeah. Joltik, yeah. So they were fifth gen? Mm-hmm. That's the one generation I like. I literally, if you named off one Pokemon, I probably wouldn't be like, I Do you to... remember Vanillish? Who? That fucking ice cream Pokemon from That's that one? That's what it's called? Yeah, I think I'm so. I'm glad they got fucking creative in fifth gen. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I love that they motion tracked Ryan Reynolds' face into a Pikachu. Like, they didn't just hand animate this nor- nonsense. They actually had Ryan Reynolds, like, in a motion capture set with a bunch of dots on his face. I imagine him just, like, crawling through set. Yeah. Well, it's like a Benedict Cumberbatch when he did Smog for The Hobbit, where what? he actually got out down on all fours. Oh, I don't know why it went British yeah. for fours. But uh, got down on all fours and was, like, crawling on the floor, like, perf- like doing all the head movements like a l- fucking lizard, yeah. like, performing his lines. Yeah, no, I, I would like to imagine that Ryan Reynolds was just, like, he, he wasn't even on all fours. He was just crouched, like, crab walking. That's what I mean, but, like, on set, not yeah. in, like, a not in like a motion oh, capture room. Oh, on set. Like, in, like, a Ryan mocap Reynolds suit. is actually doing this right now. Yeah. yeah. Okay, no, I'm down for this. Like, he's on also, the can I just say I love that Pikachu's a Addicted to caffeine, he's addicted. You can't to be an alcoholic, so they had to yeah, replace can't be it an with alcoholic, something alcoholic, like a normal film noir. So he's got to be drinking that nice cappuccino with five shots of espresso. I will say there are moments where like the CGI interacts with like actual people really well. And oh other yeah, times where it just it does. It, I don't. I don't know. Here's what our uh, here's our opening. Oh, I'm gonna be the very best. <laughs> I like how uh, it's not CNN. It's CCM. Wait, is that an actual thing in Pokemon? I don't remember. I can't remember. I feel like I know that anagram from somewhere. Hey, ditto, Squirtle. What's that Squirtle doing? Why he's wait? Clean, he's cleaning up. Yeah, but don't shouldn't they wait do, for the talent to get down? So that question: way they don't Do those inside? Pokemon get salaries? I mean, this goes back <laughs> to the whole question of: Do they slaughter Tauroses for steak? Well, I guess I guess like that a police dog. The, that also goes back to the robot chicken sketch where they said that all Pokemon were slaves. What, dude? Octorok. Looking straight slimy back there. (laughs) You don't start off, I have a story for you with, I've heard rumors. See? You gotta have facts. Gotta have evidence. Look at that Mew floating in the background. Oh yeah, that's very true. Damn. Hashtag harsh. So, <gasps> slacking. Another one of my favorites. He's slacking. <laughs> He's slacking off. I can't believe they hired him. The most convenient fucking thing about this set. It's probably the most convenient uh, location of this set. Oh. Because I could just have cameras everywhere and it just makes sense. Or they like just have lights pole. everywhere. Yeah, that boom pole that's in the background is actually... That recording. light right there is... Yeah. That's probably actually crafty. <laughs> yep. Wait, who's what Pokemon's holding that boom pole? I saw it moving, and I saw an un, uh, foreign body below it. 
Who? Which one? Loudred. It's a Loudred holding that boom pole. Loudred's a boom up. <laughs> Loudred would be the boom up Pokemon. This this movie puts a lot of other things into perspective. Because I mean, you know how like the like Pikachu is the electric mouse Pokemon. Yeah. But in this movie, Pikachu is the detective Pokemon. Loudred is the boom op Pokemon. <laughs> the chop is the traffic director Pokemon. Like uh, the golem Pokemon is the security guard Pokemon. Like it, it adds a new connotation to what like it basically puts it, it categorizes all Pokemon into certain jobs. Which is weird to think about. So I'm asking, do they get salaries? Bro, look at that Surface laptop. Thank you, Microsoft, for supporting this uh, Nintendo product. Well, not technically. What if it was just a Switch? <laughs> just a Switch? <laughs> a Switch with a keyboard. That's the accessory we all need. Oh, yes. Yeah. So a we can Switch. play uh, Smash on a mouse and keyboard. You don't want to? <laughs> you ever played a fighting game with a keyboard and mouse? It's a different experience. I haven't. I really don't want to. You don't. You really, you really don't. It's a. It's so bad. Like, and, and fighting games don't actually, like, want you to, so the control scheme makes zero sense. Zero sense. Like, you don't use your mouse, but it's like, W, A, S, and D counts as your left joystick, and then all the arrows count as your second joystick. Okay. But then all your, like, action commands happen in, like, the middle of the keyboard and stuff like that. It's, it's, That's weird. No, it's terrible. It's abs- And, like, spacebar isn't jump. W is jump. S is crouch, but then, like, if you want to do a Shoryuken, which is quarter turn, uh, I forget. But you have to actually, like, instead of doing it on a joystick, you have to be, like, down, left, right. And so it's a weird. It doesn't make any sense. And uh, if you play fighting games with the keyboard or mouse, god tier. I commend you. <laughs> I'm not even going to say you're wrong. I'm just, if you're any good, god tier. Oh! <gasps> Here's my favorite Pokemon of the movie, Mr. Mime. I thought you were just saying that was your favorite Pokemon. God, no. I would never have this garbage on my favorite Pokemon list. Holy crap. What? What's going on? Just some Pokemon Go stuff. <laughs> What's happening right now? I um. What's happening in the world of Pokemon Go? So, right now there's an event going on that's uh two times candy. Yeah. And, um, I just hatched a Pokemon that I've been trying to evolve, so I got a bunch of oh, bunch of candy nice, from it. Nice, nice, nice. Sorry, I didn't mean to, like, check no, my phone fine. during we're, the movie. It was just relating to, like, no, what I, we're I watching. Like, this is a family frame, family family friendly movie and we just watched a motorcycle crash and honestly i was i was glad that you distracted me away from that because i just can't deal with that disturbing content i understand yeah can i just say that the foley in this is great the fact that you actually hear what this mime is doing i just love that he has like two dodgeballs uh, yeah it's a uh, very uh, mr mime's design is probably the most interesting out of all of them I think like they're we actually about, like models of dodgeballs put on. Are, a no, they are. Because like they have like a rubber seam on them. If you look at it. Yeah, no, I, like I remember right watching they, behind the scenes where they were like talking about all the designs and they were talking about how Mr. Mime was literally the most fun because it's the most outlandish and weird. And they 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 were walking a very fine line between making it completely disturbing. Like, let's just listen to that sound design. This guy's literally, he's pouring nothing and acting with nothing right now. And he's pulling it off. And now I have the upper hand. Yes, I'm covered in gasoline, but I will not let you light this match. Question: If if he were to do that, would that actually blow up? What? Oh. <laughs> um. I mean, in real life, yes. In real life, okay. Just with making with sure. uh, non-existent mime technology, no. Because <laughs> it wouldn't explode per se. 
but we're not explode but catch on fire oh yeah no no if you if you like have you never done that with lighter fluid no i like not gonna, i don't mean in real life i mean like in this situation like would it theoretically okay never mind no it's not real well he hit he hit his head and i didn't know if that was part of like mr mimes like Weird walls, invisible walls he can make. I mean, yeah, he has invisible walls and stuff like that, but that doesn't mean he can make invisible fire. Then he would be on my top 10 favorite Pokemon list. Just love how it's just them beatboxing. Hey, there's There's Gengar. Gengar. Gengar's design's kind of weird, too. Yeah. Like, I didn't imagine Gengar being covered in, like, odd fur. I don't imagine the teeth, either. I do, because... In all the art, he has a smile, like the smiles and stuff like that, and he does have very defined, very defined teeth. Okay, I see. I yeah. remember now. What is it that's off then? I, I, I honestly, I feel like Gengar just doesn't adapt well. Okay. I feel like that's it. Like I think it's the red eye, like the red cat eyes. I see. How do they know that this is the correct Pikachu? Is it literally just from the hat? Yeah, that Togepi. Yeah, no, I just noticed that Togepi. I kind of wish that the yellow of the Togepi actually looked like super overcooked hard-boiled eggs. <laughs> like, I want it to be all craggly and dry and crumbly. Whoa, dude. Family friendly. I Wait, just realized, I just realized it, the Charizard tattoo. That I was about to say that the chest tattoo is a Charizard. I wish somebody actually got that fucking tattoo. <laughs> Honestly, I'm sure someone actually does. There are so many people that get tattoos that I would not be surprised if someone has a giant chest Charizard. It sounds like a good deal. See? Bro, look at that Loudred with a closed mouth. That doesn't look good. <laughs> oh my god, I just noticed that the Loudred has like little tiny like a fucking peach fuzz. Wait, like really? Little tiny like pubes on his skin. Like coming off. Like just stray hairs. My plan is to attack. Oh, so I'm guessing the point you were going to make was he just released all those fumes right in front of his face. So why can't he talk to Pokemon? Yeah. You know, genetics are weird. Uh, I mean, it, it goes back to the same argument as like why you don't want to take dog heart pills. Like, there are certain medicine that affects people. Like, Benadryl, it doesn't make me drowsy, but it, 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 like, puts everyone I know straight to sleep, like, 30 minutes after taking it. So, it could just be, he's got the, he's got a weird genetic pattern that causes uh, him to, the be medicine able to, to talk affect, yeah, for okay. whatever reason. I don't know. Wait, why will Volt Tackle knock him out? It Vol- does recoil damage, and I guess that's what he's saying. Is he trying to say he has so little HP that he knows Volt Tackle, but... <laughs> he's funny. pressing his down B. It's not working. Funny, <laughs> funny fart constipation joke. I don't think that's how that works. God... I I think it's also weird that cage match that that be, those people were just burned that were right beside him. Well, no, what I was gonna say is it, it's very uh, it's very weird that none of these Pokemon have nicknames. Oh, that uh, is true. Like so, in this in this I in this world, are all Pikachu's just known as Pikachu? Because we haven't seen a single instance of like uh, a Sparky or something yeah. like that. I haven't seen none of that nonsense. 
Yeah, I fucking, uh, st I, I roided up my Charizard. This is what I'm talking about. This oh, is yeah. The, this is the action I came to see. I wish there was more Pokemon battles in this movie, in all honesty. And yeah, this, there aren't movie, enough of yeah, the no, Pokemon this, battles. This, this movie really set into stone the fact that I want a Harry Potter-esque style uh, of I, just the original Kanto League. Have you seen uh, the short anime series Pokemon Origins? Where it goes oh, through yeah, like yeah, red? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I Imagine that, that in like a movie. Yeah, no, I, I, I could see that. Uh-oh. Magikarp? Bro, all the Pokemon are going crazy, and all it did was cause Loudred to start beatboxing. Yeah, they're just running around beatboxing. Now, this is the kind of Pokemon Who's battle. Who was using I Rollout? Oh, Graveler. Yeah. I couldn't tell if it was Graveler or Golem. Eh, same difference. One just looks worse. Bro, of course, medicine comes from the fucking doctor. That's not over the counter, that's straight up prescribed. Standard slow-mo. Always need it. Have to need it for these big dramatic events. He would have been fine. He literally would have been fine. That is not true. That's not how leveling up works. He's only level 15. He has to get to level 20. Is it 20? I thought it was 30. I think it's 20. Uh-oh. Oh, never mind. Rare candy. <laughs> <laughs> Popped in his mouth while no one was looking. That Charizard's straight up dead. Yeah, that, that water, flame went out. Yeah, that water should have put out that tail. He didn't even read the rights. You're right. But this is the Pokemon universe. They don't have that. They don't have rights. <laughs> Which is why we have taro steaks and a traffic. Uh, I wonder what a chop tastes like. Do you think they're only allowed to uh, slaughter non-humanoid Pokemon? Bro, you're adding so many levels to this. <laughs> and I don't, I don't know how I can, I don't, mm. That's that's deep. Cause like you think they'd get weird about it, like like Machop. He literally yeah, just looks like a bodybuilder with two extra. Yeah, he's with, forearms from Ben Ten. Which I mean, I know that's also an alien, but he's very humanoid. Like I said, just like a bodybuilder with two extra arms. Yeah, no, I I you know I don't know. We're getting into the whole like mythos of what's okay and what's not okay. Cause I mean, we do hold some animals like you can't eat these animals but you can't eat these and then there's some animals that people think are okay to eat but then in other parts of the world is not okay such as the shark fins and guinea pigs shark fin is weird My and family. i've never heard of guinea pig guinea pigs oh yeah no in like south america all the time interesting My family actually got to try a guinea pig because we went to uh peru and that's they were they were they were smack dabbing on them bad boys was it good? I mean, I didn't try it. I wasn't there. Oh. That was like the one vacation I couldn't make it on. Honestly, quite sad. Like him? Yeah, just like Pikachu. I mean, Ryan Reynolds. I mean, Deadpool. Shit. What movie are we watching again? I mean, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Where's Dope Pender? Guys, for the sad and I somber just moment, need this uh, piano music. Everyone, just remember to be thankful on this day after Thanksgiving, or the days after Thanksgiving, or if you're watching this somehow later on in the month, uh, or just whenever, or or later on in the year, or into the next year. Uh, happy countdown to Thanksgiving. I don't fucking know. I don't fucking <laughs> know what to say. Jesus Christ! Stop questioning me. I don't need it. Yeah, I found a singular 21st birthday card, and that 
uh, cleared everything up in my mind that my father actually cared for me when he disappeared that was on it. Me as a small child. It's all you need. A single birthday card. It, 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 uh, it mends all wounds that were previously made. So sad. I want to see Pikachu fucking cry. I want to see tears. You can only do that when Ash turns to stone. Bro, don't bring that back up. That's dark. Wrong movie. I know wrong movie, but like, man, you're going to make me cry. Oh, I can't wait to see that mess in CGI. Oh, you know they're going to do that. No, it's already a thing. What? They're remaking the first movie? In CGI. Like, animated. Oh, really? Yeah. You yeah. haven't seen the trailer for it? It's already... There's a trailer for it? Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's, like, coming out this... Just just fucking look up Pokemon First Movie Remake, and you'll probably see all the screenshots of Ash, and you'll be like, oh. All right, gang. Let's split up and look for clues. So Pikachu, Scooby. What's her main character's name? Jacob? Or is that the actual actor's name? Are Shaggy. You watch, are you watching the trailer right now? Maybe. I'm looking at it. Yeah, you're I just want. I just want to see how bad it is. Oh, no, I get it. Yeah, uh, it... Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh-huh. This could totally pass as a... Like a new video game. Yeah. But I don't... <laughs> this does not look like a movie Dude, at just all. Just look at Ash. I I, just I, I, tell I me am. that his face doesn't remind you of Stewie Griffin. Now I gotta like look. It's, it's just oddly scrunched. It's not like long enough. It's too wide for the for the actual face that's on it. It's weird. I gotta get to a shot where he's on there. Give me <laughs> just a sec. Yeah, no, this looks like a like a video game. Yeah, no. Yeah, you're right. Oh my god. Yeah, no, I told you. But also, okay, so in this uh, office, he has the Alga, Palkia, and uh, Arceus. So, more Sinnoh connections, for whatever reason. See, there's... Wait, what'd you say? What? More Sinnoh connections? Yeah. That's a, uh, That's what I was about to say, but it, I, you just said it. Yeah, bruh. What up, Clifford? Where's your fucking big red dog? Or are you the big red there's dog? There's some stones right there. An uh, ice stone. Uh, an ice stone thing? Yeah. What's it about? I think... Because there's the icy rock, and that evolves Eevee. I thought that's how you got Glaceon. No, Glaceon is if you're by an icy Maybe rock. that's a water stone. Well, there's a water stone right beside it. There's a moonstone. I mean, I would guess. Who knows? You can never know unless you read the plaque below it. Wait, is that the thing from Arrival back there? <laughs> that's how they got a hold of Arceus. Yeah, they, <laughs> they talked to No, 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 Deoxys. That's the alien Pokemon. Oh, yeah, that's how they talk to him, through circles. I, I could see it. <gasps> Dude, I don't like Pikachu saying daddy. Maybe that's just me. But, uh, yeah, I don't... I don't like... I don't like the Pikachu saying the term daddy. Yeah, I'll join this train. You want to pop your you want to pop your fing fangs? I'll do them. Ah, perfect. I have popped all my thing things. <gasps> Dude, this is some Tony Stark bullshit right now. Look, I understand, like, being able to, like, use what? cameras and stuff. So, like, theoretically in, like, sci-fi to, like, use cameras and whatnot to, like, put yourself in somewhere. But this is, like, on the side of the road in the middle of nowhere. I mean... I guess it's science fiction. It's science fiction, crime scene, uh, analyzing nonsense, yada, yada, yada. I don't know. Oh my gosh, it's Mew fucking 2. I can't wait for Mew 3 and 4 to show up. 
I mean, sorry, Mew I, 2X and Mew 2Y. That stuff was nonsense. I love Mega Evolution as much as the next person, but when they started splitting them up as X and Y Mega Evolutions, I was like, no. It frustrated me. Yeah, because like, there, what, what was the reason? But, but why, why did Charizard get two Mega Evolutions, but Blastoise and Venusaur, and Venusaur didn't. didn't, or anyone else besides Mewtwo and Charizard? Like what? Like they, they never even explained why there was a difference between the two. It's just, oh, there's an X and a Y variant, but well, why does it have X and Y in the name? Does, does it actually have to do with like their genetics if it's male and or female? But no. I wonder if that's true. <laughs> it didn't. It just depended on the version. I think I he just they... wrote that for them. I think he just gave them a good out. I mean, it, it would be a good out if, you know, it was a thing, but no. That... Pikachu is floating oddly and I don't I don't know how to explain it do what it's like the feet of Pikachu on his shoulder like the way that Pikachu is bouncing with him doesn't feel like he's with him he's like half I a second think. behind him and it causes his hit the his feet to like float off his shoulder for like a frame I didn't notice that it was weird damn talk about a harsh first date Uh, the typical uh, dim-witted uh, romance. My favorite. Uh, my favorite fast-talking explanation That's for everything. Looking. That's about to do uh, for all this nice... Every uh, time I try and make a comment, you, you're like... You I'm already there. Yep. I'm sorry. I I know. I know where we're going. I know. I know the. I know the the path this train is heading on. I do too. And it's the uh, predictable city. <laughs> she, bro. He just pissed all over those leather seats. That's. I wish there was some sound design there. Yeah. No. I need. I needed the little trickle. I wanted the sound. Oh, I wish she would have said, let's go find Meowth. Like Meowth? Like make a Pokemon pun? That would have been more, super funny, bro. I need more Pokemon puns in these, uh, in the sentence structure of this film. I need more Pokemon puns in the dialogue. Okay. <laughs> The three little black dreads coming off of Pikachu, or no, uh, the three, Psyduck. uh, Psyduck's head, that's the only part of Psyduck's design in this movie that kind of freaks me out, because it, it literally just reminds me of, like, Charlie Brown. And I like the hair from them. Yeah. And that's all I can think about. Or, like, Ed, Ed, and Eddie. That's all I, I, that's all I can think about is, like, Eddie's hair and how that would actually, like, look. Or Homer Simpson. A lot of cartoon characters yeah. have just the three lines Stewie. of hair. Like you said earlier, Stewie yeah. Griffin. That's weird. I never even thought about that. No, a lot of a lot of characters have just three strains of hair. For whatever reason, side jokes just go straight out and they're like dreads or antenna. It's weird. Weird antenna dread thing. Weird antenna dread things. That's the descriptor descriptive terms for a Psyduck. Also I I just realized how tiny that car was. Yeah, very tiny, but I also like that they put Pikachu in a booster seat. Just him, though. Just him. Psyduck is okay. Damn, there's not even a back seat. They were sitting in the fucking trunk. Damn. That's rude. Pokemon deserve seats, too. Don't make them sit on the back of the bus. Yeah, look at me that way. Oh, way. What way? Your way? My way? Have it your way? BK? Burger King? That looks like a toy car. It's like the old, uh, it's like the old Wii car that they used to have in those commercials. The smart, the smart yeah. car. There's like one or two of those in my hometown. Same. And like, I'll pass them every so often. I'm like, man, you guys are idiots. <laughs> I used to want one of those cars when Did I was you? younger. I just thought the idea of having a tiny car would be cool. I don't know why. 
And now you realize the the fault in your ways. Okay. Whoa. That was a cool shot. It is, but I've seen that in a lot of different spy movies before. I mean, yeah. It, yeah. No, I mean, it's it's like a tradition for spy movies to do that kind of shot. But like, I was, I was real proud of how, because usually it's just the camera rotates. Yeah. But this time it was a camera rotate pullback. It's good, good, good. Those are just big Pokeballs. This is how they develop what the, this is what the inside of a Pokeball looks like. Yes. So this is, this is how you should, this is why you should feel bad. I wish they explained, uh, I, I do wish they, the Pokemon would ever explain how Pokeballs work. I, I need to know the physics. Like the inside of a Pokeball? Yeah. Like, I, I, I really, like, that's the one mystery of Pokemon that, like, baffles me the most. Yes, Torterra. You just like grass starters. I do love grass starters. My exception is, like, uh, Litten and, um, oh, what is it? Oh, it's it's also Gen Wait, 4. Wait, you didn't like Rowlet? I did like Rowlet, oh. but I also just really liked Litten. Um... Rowlet was like the first grass type besides Trico that I actually picked first. Really? Yeah. Um. Uh, oh, gen. Chimchar. Really? I love Chimchar. But you love Torterra. I like them both. I'm just saying starters I like. Oh, see, I, I think I picked Pinplup. I I typically stick with the water boys. See, I, I hardly my, ever go with water. My my rule of thumb is I go water, fire, grass, typically. That's that's like the, the route I go when it comes to replaying Pokemon games. And, it, you know, it just works out sometimes because there's always two to three versions of each game. I normally do grass, fire, water. I can see that. That seems very you. Is that the Death Star? No, it's that one Trade Federation building. What? In Star Wars? What? The Trade Federation? No. You got me lost one? here. Which one? Episode it, one. Prequel? Yeah. Sequel? Prequel. For, uh, Phantom Menace? Yeah, it's the... the yeah, like, that's probably why I don't know it. <laughs> it's not seen, one of the good ones. I've yeah. seen Phantom Menace maybe twice in my entire lifetime. I understand. Why you would only watch it twice? I... Bros, I love the fact that Psyduck is so powerful that if he gets a migraine, he could literally just destroy the Earth. That's every Psyduck, too. Yeah, every single Psyduck in this world, literally, if it's not under immense, like, stress relief, like, meditation, like, massage, it could literally implode the surrounding area. It could literally make your mind into utter jello. Oh, cool. It's more uh, plot drive. I more forget the name. exposition. Exposition. Yeah, that's the that's where I was looking for. Bro, I like their hoodies. It's really cold in there. Yeah. Serum red, even though it's purple. Bro, I will say Elon the fact Musk. That they, <laughs> this is just uh this is just Tesla. No, I, I just love the fact that how fast they're developing all this technology. Like they it took them sixty eight days to make this new like crazy Pokemon drug in this neural link device. Sixty eight days? You're telling me it took them two months a little over two months to create a neural link device and a crazy Pokemon drug. Like what about I'm sorry, but like uh is R and D not a thing? Huh? Dude, this is just GLaDOS's chamber from Portal. Those are all the cores that they have to stick on her. Dude, I want a live-action Portal movie. I hate that J.J. Abrams said that he was going to do one that never did one. 
Do what? A Portal movie. Oh yeah, I remember hearing about that. And then they hired a guy that did a Portal short film to do another Cloverfield. Cloverfield. Didn't he produce that too? Yeah, well yeah, it was Bad Robot, JJ's company. I didn't realize Bad Robot was his company. Yeah. They just, uh, I think they just signed like a nine year deal with the Warner Brothers or some crazy nonsense like that. Oh wow. It was absolutely wild. It happened a while ago. I think it was over the summer. Roro Raggy. I think this movie was really just an excuse for us to talk about Pokemon for two hours. I mean, uh, not to give spoilers, but we have watched a Pokemon movie in the past before this was a thing. And that was literally the only reason that we watched it that time, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was literally just to watch Pokemon or to talk about Pokemon. Wasn't Bro. that Mewtwo Strikes Back? <laughs> yeah, that was the first one, the first Pokemon movie. Now also, on the, now on say, here we should do the remake. We're we're getting to some weird hentai tentacle shit with these guys. That's hey, don't let's let's not bring that up here. There's a family friendly movie. That don't matter. We've watched uh, we watch other family I'm kidding, friendly movies I'm that kidding. we made terrible. Bro, we've talked about puppy play on our podcast. You telling me we can't talk about tentacle porn? <laughs> we're already over halfway through this movie. You so two? like, can you kill those and have giant frog legs? Bro, see, oh, you're talking about family friendly. Yeah, let's talk about killing every yeah. all the Pokemon for their meat. I want to know what a Torterra tastes like. Torterra soup. Yeah, I want some <laughs> Torterra soup, my man. Dude, I think that Psyduck is successfully uh stressed. God, I love the squishy sounds of their feet. <laughs> I think up. This is my favorite scene in the movie coming up here. Um, wait, what's happening? I for, I forget exactly what's going on. Oh, is that supposed to kill him? Did I misconstrued what was being said earlier? Because these guys don't look like Jello. They, they shouldn't have been like... They need to be concussed. They need to be hitting they, that explosion too. Yeah, they need to... They, well, they got hit by it, but like they were in the core of it and they, they got less damage to them than the Greninjas. Yeah, here's my favorite scene. Inception. Hell yeah. No. Just giant Pokemon. Yeah. Just giant... Torteras. <laughs> but no, okay, so uh, technically, this could be in the Galar region. This could explain um the Gigantamax Pokemon. Yeah, no. I, I think that's kind of where they got the idea from was this movie. But uh, my question of the day is like, how. Was this forest non-existent before these giant torteras had to grow to make it? And if that's the case, how did they not realize it in Rhyme City that this happened? How far like away the, from Rhyme City is this? I would guess maybe like a 30 to hour, hour or 30 minute to hour drive. Because like. Literally. <laughs> I don't know. It's just I don't I don't believe that these are giant torteras had to grow to make this forest to go lie dormant that no one would have noticed that this forest is basically non was non existent. Maybe maybe it grew around the forest. So like it was like a little pod and when it went under Oh, they planted the torteras like a seed? Yeah. It hatched into a tur twig and then what was the middle of it? Grottle. Yeah. Rut row. Is he on a? I can't tell which one's on an actual Pokemon or not. I I think they're both on Pokemon. During this scene, that's my biggest like complaint is like you can't tell like. Oh, I guess it hasn't like revealed. Yeah, that they they're, haven't revealed that they're Torteras yet. They're still thinking that these are like some weird aftershocks of Psyduck. 
Wait, there's water underneath this all? Yeah, so this is like that a fucking ocean. That dude would have fucking died. Like, under, underneath this Torterra forest is all, like, ocean there. So maybe this is a tropical-esque setting. Perhaps this is Sinnoh. Wait, but there's Gen 5 Pokemon. Oh god, everything's misconstrued. Eyeball? Eyeball. See, it's all Torterra. Yeah, see, no, this is a this is a no go for me. This don't make no sense. <gasps> no, not to the heart. You're to blame. You give Pokemon a bad name. Oh, mm. that the that did Dead. not look real. That was rough. That was like every uh water splash effect from Action Essentials thrown on the screen at the same time. <laughs> That's what happened. Probably exactly. Bro, that whole river is just Torterra piss. You're the, right. The, I mean, imagine how much piss is in a Torterra that size. Dude, look at the look at this Pikachu's wet fur. That does look pretty good. Yeah. <gasps> He's going to cry. Pikachu's going to cry. <gasps> I take it all back. Pikachu's not going to cry. Pikachu's going to die. No. <laughs> Give me that nurse joy. Let me see that thick nurse joy. God damn it. <laughs> I want to see Brock. I want to see Brock goggle over or googly eyed over, over nurse joy. Hey, it's your favorite. Yes. Look at that onion. Look at that little onion on that back. Reverse leech seed. Is that a thing? Why does Bulbasaur sound like a child? Me, 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 Bobby Star. He's also supposed to sound like a fucking smoker. Bulbasaur. I think the only one that talked like a child was Char or Charmander. Yeah. Char. Rest in peace. End movie. Pikachu is dead. Yep. Let's just roll the credits here, guys. Hey, good setup for a sequel. <laughs> what if movies like started doing that? What if they didn't end where the ending actually was? They just left on a major cliffhanger so that then, way they could just make a second movie to actually have an ending. I don't doubt it. I mean, Harry Potter, Avengers, <laughs> uh, well, the MCU in general, <laughs> I'm, I'm looking at you, I'm looking, I'm looking at, at you, big brands, <laughs> I like the little stuff, like how they have all the mud under them, yeah, they're like little pigs, they're like hippos, they're just waddling in mud to keep cool, because they don't want to go swim in that Torterra piss. Wait, that would be my dream say, right there. Did she just say she was going to go wait in the car? How the yeah. fuck are you going to find the car? Good point. Also, reverse, reverse. Uh, Why did all the Torteras go all back right. to sleep? Wait, what Pokemon's that? Uh, fung, fung, fungi. That's not, it's not Fungus. Fungi. I, I, it's fifth gen. I know that much because I don't recognize it. <laughs> I think it's sixth gen. Let's see. Mushroom. Pokemon. Uh, let's see. This Fungus this is one is Bulba Garden. Okay, Bulbapedia. Morlul. Okay. The Pokemon number seven hundred and fifty-five. What gen is he in? Uh, it's a fairy type, so I would guess fifth. sixth. Sixth? What's sixth gen? Uh, um, um, Gallows. Wait, no. This is generation five. I mean, sorry, generation seven. I can't read Roman numerals. Oh, Alolan? Yeah. Okay. There's always got to be one mushroom Pokemon in every new Pokemon game. That's just how it works. They really like fungus. 
big fungus fans. Big fans of fungus. Wait, so are they going to hop this this Pikachu up on shrooms? Is this what's going on right now? No, they're healer Pokemon. They're going to heal him. Bro, look out. Do the out. ways of psychedelics. <laughs> Do the ways of psychedelics. They will heal him. Do this is through psilocybin. Huh? <gasps> Mewtwo! Mewtwo, no! <laughs> Ruh, Ruh, Raggy. <gasps> Bro, this is some Star Trek shit. Yeah, lift that bad boy up. You lift me up so I can climb on mountains. You lift me up. So I can be a Pikachu. Bro, he got so wet and he's so fluffy right now. Should I order food right now? Yeah, man. Okay. Yeah. I thought you were saying that it was here. No, no. You can leave to go get food. And I'm like, bro, do your own thing. This is movie talks. This is our time to sit back, relax, and make funny haha jokes at good movies or bad movies or in between movies. Country road. What? Take me home. Why are you talking about I don't about know what? why I'm singing that right now. It's just stuck in my head. Bro, when's the follow movie coming out? <laughs> <laughs> Todd Howard stars. <laughs> yeah, I need Todd Howard to star in, in the next follow movie. <gasps> uh oh. Bro, they just made Mewtwo a God reference, a Jesus reference. They just straight up T-posed. They T-posed Mewtwo right then. I like his glasses because they're comically uh, large for his face. That that shot of Mewtwo didn't look too good. No, I, I agree. I concur. That's why they hit him in a dark ball to never be seen again. We don't know that. There's not enough evidence. That's just a rumor. That's gossip. We don't report on gossip and rumors. Can I also just state that it's kind of weird that the major news anchors of the city are also like the runners of the city, so they completely control what everyone knows? Pokemon, the Pokemon world's really corrupt. Yeah, no. I'm, I'm starting to realize that the more we watch this movie and the more that we discuss the fundamentals of what is Pokemon... I do like how his fur is like really unkept right now. I also like how the eyeline for uh, that actor, I forget his name. I'm going to call him Jacob. I just love the fact that his eyeline did not match at all to how tall Pikachu was. He was looking a good foot to two feet above yeah, Pikachu's he's head. He's looking at Ryan Reynolds. He was looking at Ryan Reynolds crawling around, crab walking. Ah, oh, it's pee-pee day. Hell Yeah. I'm so excited for PP Day. Oh, and then all the balloons have the classic Pokemon designs. Yes. Bro, look at those Snorlax cosplayers. Look at those Bulbasaur guys. Her delivery in the line sounded fine, but like she had no expression yeah, on her kinda, face. Yeah, it was a super flat. It was really weird. Like listening to her say it. Like, hearing her say it was really odd. It was really off. Might have been ADR'd. Maybe, perhaps. Maybe on set she actually, uh, maybe her voice in this entire movie is actually ADR'd because they didn't like how the actress performed. You know they've done that before, right? Yeah. I always find that really funny. Yeah. Just bring in an impressionist to just ADR uh, an actress's lines or actor's lines over because they didn't do it right. <laughs> Which is also weird to think.
flat white. What the fuck kind of coffee is that? What's flat white? That much cream that it turns white. It's just cream with a shot of espresso poured in. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that is flat white. How do you know this? How do you know this song? Because Pokemon the TV show. Pokemon the TV show exists within the Pokemon world. Ash yeah, does not exist, but Red does exist. Yes, Ash is a fictional character within the Pokemon universe. Bro, that's crazy. That wild. That's a that's a theory. A film theory. <laughs> Wrong channel, homie. <laughs> <laughs> what, we're an hour and 20 minutes in and you're going to say this is the wrong time to say that stuff? Bro. <gasps> uh huh. Connect the dots. Okay. Bro, with your little, like, two-inch legs, there's no way you're making it to that city in any form or fashion on time. He, he will. Quick attack. <laughs> Volt tackle. He's got the HP now. He got healed. That's true. Or did he? No, he technically didn't. Uh-oh. I like how this actor kind of looks like the Mewtwo design. <laughs> You're seeing it now, too? No, I don't. Yes, you do. Don't even lie. You laughed because you know it was true. I laughed because it was absurd. Nah. Straight up truth. Here comes the more absurd part, though. <laughs> uh, but my mind is in the two of Mew. What a dumbass name. Mew two. Like, I mean, I get why it's Mewtwo, but it's a dumb name. Not saying that names like Vanillish aren't dumb, but literally you just added a two to the end. It's it's literally Mewtwo Electric Boogaloo. I'll give them, I'll, I'll give them some slack because it was their first gen. Yeah, well, you know what? Let's bring back uh, Spectrobes and then you'll get my, and then you got my attention. Spectrobes? You don't know about that one? No. It was like a Pokemon, like, uh, like it was real time. Like when you got into battles with stuff, you actually controlled your characters and stuff. And like you used L for your left partner, right for your right partner. And then all the face buttons to do your own moves with like a sword and stuff. Uh huh. But the way that you got your Pokemon was actually you had to, you had to go digging. You would find these artifacts or these p chunks of rocks that would have the spectrobes in them. And you would literally have to use the DS screen to like brush off. And like clean what, up. What game was this in? Huh? What game was this? Spectrobes. It was called Spectrobes? Yeah. Like Pokemon Spectrobes? No, it was Spectrobe. Spectrobe. It's a, it was an off brand, like not related to Pokemon. Oh. It was like a ripoff, like Digimon type deal. Okay. I thought. Okay. But like you would clean off the fossils, but if you damage the fossils, the weaker the po the the weaker the spectrobe was once you awoke the spect spectrobe. Oh, okay. And to awake it, you would put it into a machine and then you would yell into the microphone of the DS. That's so weird. Yeah, it's literally just called evolution. Oh, God, it's in the balloons. He stole the Green Goblin's idea. Oh, yeah. Actually, no, it was the Joker's idea from the Tim Burton Batman. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Times two. Oh god, everything's broken, everything's wrong. That was a, a Lolan Ratata. I was about to ask if that's what that was. I think it was. I don't know. It was a black Ratata. Snubble, don't make out with me like this. Not while I'm on, on duty. Wait. So he didn't disappear into his Pokemon because he was wearing a neural link. But, but he's now he's but using now he's, vapor weird. He's, he's vaporizing people and sticking them into Pokemon. Does Mewtwo have that power? He does now. Don't let your Pokemon breathe? 
That's a bit harsh. Just she didn't get it. She didn't get a chance to finish what she was saying. It, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's I. No, I, I'm glad that it stopped where it did. <laughs> How do you make it to the city so fast? I'm going back to my original statement. Hey, Gengar, how's it going? Quick attack. Quick attack doesn't last that long. He, he, you know, he has like twenty five. <laughs> He's got twenty five pp's, man. Yeah, yeah. Bro, his down B worked that time. <laughs> it did. I wish that's what it did in Smash. I wish his down B launched him. I love like God complex villains. I Why love how uh, not overused they are. Oh yeah, and how uh, original all their dialogue is. Yeah, yeah. I also love the fact that he's on a Pikachu balloon. Also, the fact that this gas is flammable is also oh well that shot made zero sense. But anyways, I had to use that one for the trailer though. Yeah, had to add that trailer shot. While you're finally awake, Jacob, you should have seen the crazy shit that was happening outside. Fucking great. You're late. For a very important date. Okay, so I feel like to fix this whole issue, all you have to do is rip off the neural link. Yeah, he's what he's, he's, what he's getting at. I'm glad, uh, I'm glad that... <gasps> Not the son! The son that was supposed to be the villain the whole time? <laughs> And that's why he needed the glasses. Because here comes the big reveal. It's a ditto. I want to. And yes. now this makes it canonical. Yes. Yes. Now it just makes it canonical that dittos can also copy humans. I thought it was canonical when uh in the anime. Mm -mm. Okay. A ditto's never copied a human. It's only ever been Pokemon. That's like in its description that it can copy any Pokemon. But also, it, it this made it canonical that Ditto can just... Oh, yes, perfect. But this just also makes it canonical that Ditto can just transform without being near the Pokemon, like in the games. Yeah. Bro, why did you waste so much time doing fucking dialogue when you could have just punched her without telling her that you're okay with punching her? That's true. <gasps> oh... Rest in peace. Bro, use a satellite dish to to, to forge your uh, elect Momentum. electro bolt. Bro, this is the best universal ride. This will work as a universal ride. Yeah, man. The more totally. I'm thinking about it, the more I'm like, yeah, this, I'm okay with that. That's a good idea. Dun, 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 dun. It's the battle music. It's not. I wish it was. Bro, big buff man. Why do they keep using the same Machamp model? It's so gross. And it looks even grosser with Ditto eyes. I love it with Ditto eyes. How's he know? How does he know? How's he know the connection of Cubo? I don't think he does. Nah, dude, he obviously does. I choose you! Can immediately do it. Yeah, it didn't even knock him out. What the fuck's up with that? Oh, there he goes. Dead. Oh my god. <laughs> Pokemon is dead. Nah, Nurse Joy won't be able to bring that shit back. 
I also just want to know if like Pokemon centers are a thing in this world because I want to know if the Nurse Joy sisters are a thing. That's like, true, and like also that. they're all chanties right now. What? They're all chanties right now. Oh yeah, that's very true. But like, that's weird. Now, now I'm thinking about that. How the fuck is Nurse Joy a thing? Like, why are they all named Joy? And how are they all such twin sisters that there's like over a hundred of them? Now he's just freaking out. Bro, Ditto is going on a so trip Ditto, in a magic rocket ship. So Ditto's the only Pokemon that can't be affected by that? No, he was affected. He was just affected differently. All the other Pokemon drives them crazy. For whatever reason, it puts Ditto to sleep. That's what I mean. I don't know. Yeah. Don't you know the stats, bro? You can't defeat a legendary with a base level Pokemon. That's dumb. <gasps> Yeah, dumb dumb. Snap dumb. it. Dumb dumb need gum gum, dude. Yeah. That looked pretty rough. It's okay. It's only a Pokemon movie. <gasps> Mewtwo woke up just in the nick of time. And Ari took off his headband. Yeah, and Ari took off his headband. It's a it's a Christmas miracle. And kiss. <laughs> cool, man. Wait. His mouth didn't move? <laughs> yeah, no, that was all telepathy. I just realized that when Mewtwo's Mewtwo, it's all telepathy. But when he was using the neural link, for whatever reason, he decided to speak again instead of using telepathy. Well, that's because it wasn't Mewtwo doing that. It was fucking Todd Howard. Yeah, but if you, he was using powers that Mewtwo just shouldn't have had anyways. Well, Mewtwo fixed it, so it's okay. Yeah, Mewtwo is un incinerating everyone. Unfusing everybody. Un yeah, unfusing. Dude, let's talk about Pokemon fusions here for a second. <laughs> it's coming. You ever go on that website? You ever you ever make weird combinations that make no I've, sense? I've seen them, but I've never done it myself. Like a, a tree mander, like a, 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 a charco, you know, Charmander Trico. God damn it. What? Nothing. He's still my dad. That don't make no sense. You're the son. Oh, it's CNM. That's their anagram. CNM. Because it's CNN, and then CCM is a uh, hockey glove, helmet, jersey, nonsense brand. Oh, okay. I just remember where it came from. But I was also wrong about the anagram for the channel this entire time. Look, they saved the day. They saved the day. Everything's good. Pikachu's got some weird-ass eye pupil nonsense going on right now. That's the thing I don't like about Pikachu. The fact that he has pupils in the whites of his eyes, but they're... But, like... You, you've never been able to see him before? Oh, yeah. I thought then his I eyes just were just, like, black. black. Me, too. That's what I was saying earlier. The thing that... When you were saying the thing that bugged you about him, I mentioned the eyes. Oh. It didn't bug me up until this point. It was also weird. What do you mean? You know what's really funny? What's up? So, okay. Does it... Will it cut back? What do you mean cut back? To Mewtwo. I don't know. I'm waiting. I'm seeing if it does. Come on. No. <laughs> I don't look like you're you're going to be in a good place. Well, you missed. You guys missed what I was oh, going to say. Wait. Oh, you can't see it. What was it? It was a sign that had a uh, Cherubi. Do you know what I'm talking about? That yeah. Pokemon. Well, that Pokemon is number 420. Uh-huh. And it had a sign called Snacky Time. Oh, funny, so, funny joke they put in there. Uh-huh. Uh-huh uh joke. That f doesn't make Ooh, any okay. sense. Mewtwo has powers in this movie that I've never, I don't think a Mewtwo should have or I've ever heard of. 
I just love the fact that, like, Pokemon are super legendary when it comes to the lore, but, like, in actuality, like, it don't make no sense. Like, are there technically more than one Mewtwo? No. I mean, in true to form, no. But, uh, in the games, yes, there are multiple legendaries because everyone has to have one. What if what if they did that with Pokemon? Literally, one the, person yeah, had the one legendary. person in the entirety of the world had the chance to get the legendary of the game. That would be wild. There's like a back in the day with like Ruby or like Gold and Sapphire and stuff like that. Like there was just literally one one copy, Rayquaza, one copy of the game that had the legendary in it. Like if you had if you were an Emerald and you went up Sky Tower to find uh Rayqu- Rayquaza, literally everyone but one person it, it would wouldn't just have be empty it. at the top. It would just be empty at the top, except for one person. They go up and they would find Rayquaza. Look at this. We figured out that Ryan Reynolds was his dad all along. Yeah, all this time. He doesn't Talk look too out. happy about it. <laughs> you know, he don't look happy to be a dad. Take he, it all back. I think he missed being a Pikachu. Yeah, you can tell he missed being a Pikachu. But Pikachu's still right there. Yeah, and he still has his fucking hat. Give it back to him. It's his own property. Oh, no, it, it it's too small. Bro. There's a Golick back there. Yeah, I mean, I've seen him. He's been in the, he's been in shots um, plenty of times. Okay. Papa, will you go inside the Pikachu again? Does he still have a strange addiction to coffee as a human? Or is that only in the Pikachu form? No, now it's alcohol. Now it's <laughs> alcohol. Now this movie goes rated R. Good old wholesome movie. Yeah, good old wholesome end to this Pokemon Company movie. Yep. I can't wait till Detective Pikachu 2. Electric Boogaloo. And Electric Boogaloo. Noodle, Noodle Hut. Hut. God damn it. <laughs> Same mind, think alike. We really mesh. Wait, there's mind. A, there's a... Cherubi. Yeah, Cherubi, but it doesn't have the sign beside it for snack time. There's Puff Palace. I saw that. Well, oh, hell yeah. Look at these credits. I'm down for this. I'm. This is cool. Look at that. They're like overlaying all the pixel arts and like putting... Oh, man. Oh, man. Enough with the pixel art. <laughs> yeah, now it's now it's just concept design. Literally, I think they're actually using storyboards. Yeah, they're using storyboards. Did they actually get the the Pokemon team, like the Pokemon? Uh, this is artists? probably this is actually probably stills from the comic, the comic or the, or the manga. Ma- what? But the, the game is based off a of manga. Is it? Yeah. Or there's a manga based off the game after the fact, but one of the two. Wait, is this movie actually based off the plot of Detective Pikachu? Yeah. I thought it was its own thing. No, it's based Wait, off the no, plot. because of- the original wasn't around when Greninja was a thing. It must have been the most recent one then, because there's a Detective Pikachu that came out in the 3DS. Now I'm intrigued. Cause what, let me look this up. Yeah, I was about to say, I don't, I don't remember Detective Pikachu being a, a, a manga. Detective... Pikachu manga. Yeah, that, there's not one. Is there not? No. It's just a game. Oh, okay. No, so I'm wrong. What, so that's what I'm saying. I'm like, did they actually get the Pokemon company like well, this came to out, do storyboards? This came out in 2016. Yeah. Or the game did. Well, I'm pretty sure there's been multiple. The most recent one. Oh, okay. Ah, now we're into normal credits. Fantastic. What's this? What? This is what I think of when I think of Pokemon. Is this an actual Pokemon song? No. Then who is this? I don't know. Yeah. Uh Uh-huh. Oh, his name was Tim. (laughs) <laughs> you said Jacob. <laughs> look, <laughs> look, I look, I can't help it. I I can't. I don't. I don't know what what uh what names are. I'm terrible with names. 
Yeah, what's the, I need the Pokemon theme. I want the battle theme going on right now. This really makes me want to just go play Detective Pikachu. Remember when this movie was first being pitched and like it leaked out and everyone was wanting Danny DeVito to be Pikachu? I'm still mad that it's it wasn't Danny I DeVito. I need someone to do a really good Danny DeVito impersonation and just go through and redub all the lines. Because I feel like that would be the most magnificent thing that that anyone could ever do. Let's just redub this entire movie as a Danny DeVito Pikachu. I want that. Because in the games, he does have a very Danny DeVito voice, at the, least in the English version. I, this is something else I've heard. Yeah. Um, which, from my last statement, I don't know how true it is now. Okay. But I, I did hear that the voice actor for the Japanese game was inspired by, like, he, the voice he used was inspired by Danny DeVito. That's, and that's one reason why a lot of people fought for Danny DeVito to be... Well, no, it wasn't just that. It was just, like, in the Detective Pikachu games that came prior to this movie... Literally, it it the voice actor just sounded very gra- like he sounded very smoker lunged. Yeah, he sounded like a Bulbasaur and Squirtle how they're supposed to be. But uh, no, he had a very Davino D- D- Danny DeVito esque voice. So I can I can see where I can see I understand why people would want that to happen because like I kind of wanted it to happen when I saw. I, I think it's just rumors. a really good juxtaposition between this cute little furry animal yeah, and, and I, then I think, like this super like gruff voice. And I, I understand why they went with Ryan Reynolds, but Ryan Reynolds' voice is also still kind of high and has that like cute factor. Yeah, not, that like suave. Not, yeah, he's got this like weird suave. Like I, I do, I, I, I do wish Ryan Reynolds did a little something more with his voice than just doing Deadpool or you know his own voice. Yeah, that's also very true. That's that's very true. Like I, uh, I feel like Ryan Reynolds could have could have done a little bit with his voice, because I mean I he's an actor, so I mean it's whatever. But anyways, what what are, what are your thoughts about the movie? This I think it's a, a as far as video game movies go, it's probably the best one. Yep, yeah. production design's great. The plot's weak. Yeah, but I can sit here and uh, I I'll shamelessly admit I can just sit here and gawk at the Pokemon and Dude, that's and, literally and, what this movie is for me. I don't care about the story. Like we say, it's the best, the best movie, but a best uh, video game movie, but it has a super weak plot. But I mean, I don't know. that's I mean, yeah, it, I don't. Most know. other uh, all video, video game, game mo- movies don't even just, get that. Yeah, They're just get bad. That. <laughs> just bad time, bad news bears. No, I, I mean, I, I follow a similar boat. Like I remember, uh, I never went and saw this movie in theaters. I saw it once it got released, and. Uh, What? <laughs> Excuse me? This is the movie you should have started the credits out with. Are you kidding I me? I like this song. Look at all these artists. Oh my god. <laughs> this is the length of the credits themselves. God damn. It just keeps going. It it literally, it just keeps going. Are these all like CGI artists? I don't know. It's just a digital artist. That was Probably. massive. That was a giant list. That was impressive. What's that? Is, wait, is this a Pokemon song? Yeah, this is like a Pikachu song. I like it. <laughs> they should have started off the credits with this. Oh, here's creature effects and animation. A lot shorter list. But uh, no, I, I this movie. I I'm excited to see if this gives uh, Nintendo. Well, no, because Nintendo's doing anime uh, a 3D animated uh, Mario movie. Are they with the people that did uh, Despicable Me? Sony Animation. No, Illumination. That's a that's owned by Sony. Is it? Yeah. Uh, who knows? <laughs> I I I don't watch a whole lot of 3D animated films anymore. I never really did to begin with. Actually, now that I think about it. I did when I was a kid, fucking like Chicken Little and Incredibles, all that bullshit. I mean, I watched those, but I'm I'm saying since then, not really as much anymore. I don't even think I saw it. Did I see Incredibles too? No, I did see Incredibles too. I forget it was a thing. It happens. <laughs> Sometimes movies are just so forgettable, even if they are. Uh, Pixar, Disney animated films that win all the awards and get all the praise in the world. I don't think a 
Incredibles 2 one. No, 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 I don't think it did either, but I'm just talking about it in Spider-Man general. Spider-Man beat that shit out. Yeah, Spider-Man said, haha, fuck you. Sony makes good animated films. I wish they could make, you know, good live action films. You say <laughs> that. They made a, the Emoji movie. That's animated. You said they made good... Yeah, good animated <laughs> films. And? What are you trying to say? Are you trying to diss on my fucking Emoji movie? Nothing. Nothing, That was man. the last role uh, TJ Miller ever got. I know. <laughs> Rough. Rest in peace. Jigglypuff. Wait. Jigglypuff was a song? Wait. Was that just... Oh, I think it was... Was just Jigglypuff singing her its name? Yeah. Wait. Little Uzi? Wait a second. Electricity. Okay. This is the song we're listening to right now. Yeah, I know. Oh, my God. I'm so upset. What if this was Little Uzi? <laughs> <laughs> But anyways, thank you so much for tuning in to My Mesh's Movie Talks. Um, I'm so glad we could finally find Detective Pikachu. I know it took a long time, but we're, we finally made it. And we're here. And we're here. Join us back next week, Friday uh, nights at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time and Sunday uh, evenings at 5 p.m. on the My Mesh YouTube channel for the next movie. What is it? I actually, I don't remember. Me either, actually. But, I was going to say, I was going to answer that for you, but. Yeah, but my name's Chayton. And I'm Fish. And uh, see you around. See you guys.